Aloha and welcome back to my learning channel. This is one of tutorials where you can level up your math skills with me, Miss B. So hello, nagbabalik na naman po ang inyong favorite math teacher na tuturuan kayo para mas maintindihan nyo po ang lessons nyo sa math. And yes, hindi na naman ako yung nakikita nyong picture dyan. Yan po si Kim Chu, ang aking pinakamamahal na bunsong girl. So, <laughs> bakit siya Kim Chu? Kasi, kasing taas ng energy level niya si Kim Chu at saka kasing tinis ng bosses ni Kim Chu. So, naisip namin, Kim Chu na lang. So, yan. Say hi! <laughs> okay. So, if you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button. And also, mag-subscribe na rin po kayo para mas updated kayo sa mga latest math lessons na ginagawa ko po. Also, if you have any suggestions, comments, violent reactions, emotional breakdowns, pwede nyo po ilagay ang lahat sa ating comment section down below. At sasagutin ko naman yan, mga mahal. Okay? Sige po. So, ano ang lesson natin for this week? Tayo po ay mag-aaral tungkol sa equation of a circle. So, ito pa rin po ay grade 10 math topic. We are on the 8th week of the second quarter na po. So, katapusan na po ng second quarter. Pero yun yun, naka-two quarters na tayo. Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> okay. So, ano objective natin for this lesson? Uh, we have two objectives actually. And this is also in line dun sa ating most essential learning competencies na dapat yung maaral this week. So, ano-ano po yan? Meron tayong illustrate the center radius form of the equation of a circle and determine the center and radius of a circle given its equation and vice versa. So, mag-revolve lang po tayo sa equation of a circle this, uh, this week. Okay? Alright. So, let's get started. Kailangan malaman muna natin kung paano ba nating pinaplot ang ating mahiwagang circle sa Cartesian coordinate plane. So, nakikita nyo po dito, it can look something like this. So, you have your center. Your center is always illustrated as HK. So, HK po. Ulitin ko lang kasi maingay. <laughs> so, HK po ang inyong center. And then, of course, any coordinate that is on the circle or any point on your circle itself is shown as X, Y. Okay? Now, paano naman kung yung center nyo ay nasa origin? O di, 0, 0 po siya. Okay? Now, ano po ang equation ng ating circle? Ang ating standard form, so we have two forms. We have the standard form and the general form. Kay standard form muna tayo. So kay standard form, ito yung itsura niya. You have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared uh, equals r squared. So yan po, lagi po siyang minus. Yan ang standard niya, minus siya. This is for positive h and for positive k. Okay, so that means kapag naging negative po yan, mag-change yung operation. Okay? So, ito po ang ating standard form. So, as I said before, paano kung halimbawa um, nasa sen ang center ay nasa origin? So, magiging 0, 0 lang po yung h at saka yung k. So, ang kalalabasan niya is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So, by the way, yung r po dyan, yan po yung radius ng ating circle. Okay? So, kailangan kasama rin si radius para alam nyo, syempre, kung gaano siyang kalaki or kaliit. Okay? Now, let's try using this uh, information to create an equation. Okay? So, given the center of a circle is at 4, 6, and its radius is at 7 units, find the equation of this circle. So, lagi po yung given, you have the center and the radius. So, how do we go about this one? Is a substitute lang po natin yan. This is your H, this is your K. So, you will have X minus 4 squared plus y minus 6 squared equals 7 squared po natin, 49. So, question, i-expand pa ba siya? Hindi na. Okay na po yan. You can stop right there. Kasi nga, this is your standard form. Okay? You don't have to do anything else. Just this. Okay po ba? So, madali lang siya, right? So, let's have another example. Paano kung negative yung coordinates ng ating mahiwagang uh, center. So, as I said kanina, mababago po yung operation. From minus, nagiging plus po siya. Kasi minus negative. ba? So, how do we write this uh, equation? It's gonna be x plus 1 squared plus y plus 2 squared equals square ng 4, 16. 
and then nothing else. No need to expand. That's it, pansit. Okay? So, madaling madali lang. Tama. Walang kahirap-hirap. So, now, sinabi ko kanina, there are two forms. Diba? Of the equation, you have the standard form and you have the general form. So, ito na po si general equation of the circle. Okay? Ang itsura po ni general equation ay x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to zero. Okay? So, wala po siyang nandun, wala siyang um, value sa kabila, zero lang. Okay? Now, what is capital D, capital E, and capital F? They are all real numbers. So, yaan po ay makukuha natin paano by expanding yung ating standard form. Okay? Excuse me. I'll give you a visual. So, balikan natin yung mga previous examples natin kanina. So, nasa na siya. Shun, 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 shun. Okay, it's right here. So we have x minus 4 squared plus y minus 6 squared equals 49. So gamitin natin yan. Okay, we have mm, plus y minus 6 squared equals 49. So, how do we expand? Of course, we're going to expand both of those squares. So, ano pong mangyayari? Perfect square trinomial po ang kalalabasan. We have an x squared, 8x plus 16, and then plus y squared minus 12y plus 36, and then you have 49. Okay? So, remember, ano ulit yung itsura kanina ni general form? Si general form po, ganito itsura niya, x squared plus y squared, and then x and then y and then your constant equals 0. Okay? So, yan po yung order na susundin natin. So, we're going to have to do some rearranging. Okay? So, we're going to rearrange the values here. Pagiging x squared plus y squared. Ano yung susunod? Yung x. So, minus 8x and then minus 12y. Tapos, anong gagawin natin sa mga numbers na yan? Or sa mga constants? We're just gonna add all of them up. You have a positive 16, a positive 36. Si 49, ililipat natin sa kabila. Kasi remember, sa general form nyo, 0 lang po yung nasa right side of the equation. So you'll have minus 49 equals 0. Now we're going to simplify this entire thing. It's just gonna be x squared plus y squared minus 8x minus 12y. Uh, this will be... 52 ito, tapos 52 plus, uh, tama ba? Yes. <laughs> Equals 0. Okay. So, sana wala na po kayong tanong. Sana naging malinaw ito. Kung hindi man siya malinaw, meron naman tayong second example. Yung ating second example kanina ay x plus 1 squared plus y plus 2 squared equals 16. Okay? Check ko lang kung tama yung pagkakatanda ko. Shoo, 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 shoo. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Nasa na? Okay. Ito na yan. <laughs> Medyo na lost ako. So, Expand po natin ulit yung mga squares natin na squared binomials natin. So, we're gonna have x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus y squared plus 4x plus 4 equals 16. And then rearrange x squared plus y squared plus 2x plus, oh, bakit x ka? Dapat y ka. Sorry. Sure, sorry about that. Plus 4y. And then, we're going to add up all of your constants. You have a plus 1, you have a plus 4, and you have a minus 16. Kasi so move natin yung 16 to the left side of your equation. And then, if we are going to simplify this, medyo mahaba siya, pero ganun talaga, mga mahal. This is going to be negative 12 plus 0. And that's it, pansit. Oh wait, it's not 12. It's supposed to be 11. I forgot the one. There you go. Okay po. 
So, ganyan lang po mag-transform from standard to general. Okay? So, all you have to do is, again, expand your squared binomials, rearrange it a little bit, add your, uh, add your constants, and then you are done. Okay? Moving on. Namin nating extra slides. So, paano ba tayo maghahanap ng center at saka ng radius given ang isang equation? Okay? So, tatandaan nyo isa sa mga objectives natin yan today. So, kung naka-standard form po siya, madali lang naman siyang hanapin. Hanapin nyo lang po yung H at saka yung K at saka yung R doon sa ating equation. So, natatandaan nyo, alin na nga si H? Ito. Ay, wait. Walang ink. Ito. Si H, si K, and si R. Okay? So, the center of this circle is at 4, 2. Remember, H, K. And then, your radius is just this constant. Square root nitong constant na to na nasa hulihan. Okay? So, your radius is just the square root of 16. And it's gonna be 4. So, some of you might ask, Ma, paano yung negative 4? May negative 4 ba na radius? Length po ang hinahanap natin dito, mga mahal. Okay? So, wala pa naman tayong negative length. Good luck naman, diba, sa tanungin mo. Uy, gano'ng kahaba yung ruler mo? Oh, it's negative 12 inches long. What does that even look like? Anyway, so we're looking at this in a very logical uh, way. So, yung positive lang po yung kukuhanin natin. Okay? We're talking about length. Wala po tayong negative length. Okay? So, yung positive lang. Kala nyo mapipilos po nyo ako. Hindi. <laughs> Char lang. Okay. Let's have another example. What if I have x plus 2 squared plus y minus 1 squared equals 9? So again, you just have to identify your h, your k, and your r. Now, paano kung plus? Sabihin po niyan yung opposite. Sabihin negative yung ating x coordinate ng uh, inyong center. So, your center is now going to be negative 2, 1. And then your radius is again just the square root of that constant 9, 3. Positive lang po ang kukuhanin, hindi nakasama si negative. Okay? Moving on. Paano kung ganito naman yung itsura niya? So, kung natatandaan niyo po doon sa mga first few slides natin, paano kung wala ka nakikita ang H at saka K? Ibig po niyang sabihin, nasa origin ang iyong center. So, ibig sabihon ang iyong center ay nasa 0, 0. And, how do you find your radius? Square root lang po ulit ng constant. So, radius equals square root of 25, and that is just 5. Okay? Alright. So, mahirapan ko na kayo ng konti, ha? Paano naman kung naka-general form na siya? So, kung papansin nyo yung mga previous examples natin, lahat sila naka-standard form. E, paano ngayon kung naka-general form ka na? Hmm. So, may dalawa po tayong solutions na pwedeng gamitin to solve this type of problem. So, sasagutin ko po siya or gagawin ko siya uh, sa, uh, in front of you so that you can uh, know both and then you can just choose which method you want that is that you find more comfortable okay all right so magsimula tayo sa ating solution number one ang solution number one po ay ginagamitan ng tinatawag na completing the square so kayo po ay mga grade 10 na dapat alam nyo na po kung paano gumawa ng completing the square okay so let's do Ang unang-unang step po dito ay laging rearrange. Okay? So, remember, ang gagawin natin dito is uh, we're going to parang i-reverse natin yung steps kanina from uh, we're changing from standard form to general form. So, we're now going to change this equation na naka-general form into standard form. So, i-rearrange natin siya in such a way na uh, magmumukha siyang trinomial. Okay? So, how do we do that? Ganito lang po. Pagtatabihin nyo yung dalawang may x. Okay? And then, pagtatabihin nyo yung dalawang may y. Okay? Tapos, yung nag-iisang constant, ililipat nyo siya sa kabila. So, this is now considered your first step. Okay? 
So again, pinagtabi yung may dalawang may x, pinagtabi yung dalawang may y, constant, nilipat sa kabila. This is your first step. Next, what would you add to these binomials to make it into a perfect square trinomial? So I'll give you a technique that I usually teach my kids. Ito yung fastest way of doing that. You just divide your supposedly middle term by 2, and then you square that answer. So, 4 divided by 2, that's 2, squared. So, ang kailangan nyo pong idagdag ay 4. Okay? Para ma-ensure natin na perfect square trinomial ang ating makukuha. Okay? Let's repeat the process. 8 divided by 2, that's a 4. And then you're going to square that 4, it's going to be 16. So, plus 16. So, syempre, equation po yung ginagawa natin. So, whatever you add on the left side of the equation, you also have to add that on the right side of the equation. Okay? So, yung nasa kabilang dulo naman, magiging 16 plus 16 plus 4. Kasi may 16 na siya talaga. Nagdagdag tayo ng 16 at saka ng 4. So, dapat sa kabilang, nagdagdag din tayo ng 16 at saka 4. Okay? So, ano mangyayari? Ngayon, meron na tayong perfect square trinomials. Pwede na natin siyang i-factor into squared binomials. Okay? So, again, we are just reversing the process that we had before. So, ano ba ang... Uh, ano ba ang factored out form nung sa may x muna? Kay x muna tayo. So, Kung ano po yung nakuha nyo kanina na nung nag-divide kayo by 2, yun na po yung sagot, mga mahal. Okay? So, 4 divided by 2, that's 2. So, ang babalikan natin to, x minus 2 lang siya. Paano malalaman kung negative or positive? Balikan ulit natin. Your middle term sign is going to determine the sign of your binomial. Okay? Kung ang middle term nyo po ay minus, then your binomial factors will be negative as well. Kung plus po yan, plus din po ang inyong uh, binomials. Okay? So, this is gonna be squared plus, balikan natin, ano siya? Diba? 8 divided by 2 is 4, so 4 po yan. Y minus 4 squared. Tapos ano yung nangyari sa kabila? We had 16 plus 16 plus 4, 20 plus uh, 16, that is 36. Okay? So now, nagawa na ba natin siya? Na-transform na ba natin siya into uh, the standard form? Yes. So madali na lang natin mahahanap yung center at saka yung radius. O ba? Ang haba-haba ng effort para lang mahanap yung center at radius. Pero ganun talaga mga mahal. Okay? So, Ang center na po natin, remember, is yung ating HK. So, that is at 2, 4. And your radius is just the square root of the constant over here, which is 6. Okay? So, now we have fully identified our center and our radius. O, ba? Ganun lang. Kailangan balikan nyo lang yung skill nyo nung grade 8 na completing the square. So, sana... Alam nyo pa kung paano gawin yan. Kung hindi, ako mag-practice na kayo mga mahal. Kailangan nyo yan. Okay? Alright. So, di ba sabi ko kanina, dalawa yung solution. So, yan yung first solution, completing the square. Ngayon, kung hindi naman kayo masyadong confident sa inyong skills pagdating sa completing the square, meron naman tayong isa pang solution na ginagamita naman ng formulas. Hmm. Ano naman yung mga formulas na yan? Okay? Ito po. So, please take note. Ang ating H ay equal po siya sa D over 2. Alala niyo ba kung ano yung D? Hmm? Pabalikan natin, ha? Ano ba yung capital D na yan? Galing po yan dito sa general equation of the circle. Okay? So, kung mapapansin nyo, yung D, si capital D, siya yung numerical coefficient ni X. Si capital E, yung numerical coefficient ng y. And si f, yun po yung ating constant. 
So, yan ang gagamitin natin. Okay? Balik, 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 balik. Solution number 2. So, you have H is equal to D over 2. Your K is E over 2. Hmm? So, paano naman natin makahanap yung ating radius? Ano naman yung formula natin for radius? It's going to be R squared is equal to H squared plus K squared minus capital F. Okay? Pakitandaan po ang mga formulas na ito. Kung kayo ay nasa inyong mga laptops or cell phones, screenshot nyo na to. Okay? Tandaan nyo mga mahiwagang formula na to. So, if you forgot how to do completing the square, mag-memorize na kayo ng formulas. Okay? Okay. Let's apply. Nagamit ako ng green. So, ang D natin ay itong C4. So, remember, sa ating general form or sa ating nasa ating uh, wait, nakalimutan ko pala yung may negative to mga anak. So, kung mapapansin nyo, doon sa ating general form, plus silang lahat, di ba? So, if you have a negative sign here, isasama nyo siya kasi negative 4 siya. Okay? So, ang ating H, sige na nga, magne-next page na nga ako. Ang ating H ay negative D over 2, which is negative, negative 4 over 2. So, magiging positive 2 po siya. So, ito na yung H mo. So, your K is negative E over 2. So, kuha nun ulit natin to. So, essentially, change lang natin yung sign niya. So, from negative, it will become positive. So, here, kuha mo na kagad ang iyong center. Oh, it's a faster way. Yes, it is faster. But you have to memorize formulas. So, it's up to you. Saan ka ba mas magaling? pagtatanda ng proseso or pag memorize ng formulas. Nasa sa inyo yan. Pareho naman po na makukuha ang sagot. Okay? Now, we're going to look at your R. Ano ulit yung formula ni R? R squared is equal to H squared plus K squared minus F. Ito po yung ating mahiwagang F. Okay? So, R squared is equal to, ano yung H natin? 2 squared. Ang K natin ay 4 squared minus negative 16. So, again, sasama po natin yung sign. Okay? So, this is just going to be square root of 4 plus 16 plus 16. Square root po siya ng 36. At ang radius natin ay may huwagang 6. Did we get the same answer? Yes, we did. Okay? So, ganyan lang po. As uh, as I said kanina, I will show you two solutions and it's up to you kung aling solution po ang gagamitin nyo kasi as you can see, we ended up with the exact same answer. Medyo mas mabilis lang tong isa na to kasi gumagamit tayo ng formula eh, So, it's faster. Okay po ba? So, I'm gonna show you another example and then we're going to go to our last topic. Okay? Alright. So, Find the center and radius given the equation. So, syempre, dahil uh, gusto ko namang makita nyo parehong solutions, hindi naman tayo dapat maging biased with the solutions. So, gagawin ko po ulit both solutions. So, start ako with completing the square. So, again, your first step is to rearrange. Pagtatabihin nyo po yung x's at saka yung y's. And then, you're gonna change. Please don't forget your signs. Okay? Positive 25 yan. Hindi pat ko naging negative 25. Okay? That's important. Alright. Now what? Completing the square po tayo. So remember, you have to divide by 2. Tapos ko ano yung makukuha nyo, iso square nyo po. Okay? So this is gonna be 10 divided by 2, that's 5. 5 squared is 25. And then, this is just uh, negative 4y plus 4. So, again, kung ano yung in-add nyo dito sa side na to, we added a 25 and a 4. We're also going to add a 25 and a 4 sa other side. So, we have a negative 25, yung meron na. We have a plus 25, yung bago. 
at saka yung plus 4. Okay? Next, you're going to factor your uh, perfect square trinomials. So, you had an x plus 10, x plus 25. So, that's x plus 5 squared. And then, you had a y minus 4, y plus 4. That's a 2. Okay? Tapos, ano yung mangyayari? You have a negative 25 plus 25. That's just 0. Plus 4, 4. Kaya na bang i-identify? Yes. What is now your center? Ang center nyo po ay negative 5, 2. Remember, invert the signs. And then your radius is just gonna be the square root of 4, which is 2. Okay? And then, of course, I'm gonna show you yung ginagamitan ulit natin ang formula. So, your h is negative d over 2. Your k is negative e over 2. And your r squared is h squared plus k squared minus f. Let's use a green pen. Your d is this one. So that's negative 10 over 2. It's negative 5. Tama ba? Yes. It's also the same as the one we got kanina. And then, you had a negative minus negative 4, positive 2. Tama ba? Yes. Ulit. Center. Okay? Now, how about your radius? You were going to get Ang radius po natin ay magiging uh, negative 5 squared plus 4. That's 2 squared. And then minus your f, which is 25. So, mawawala lang po yan. Square root of 4 ay 2. So, did you get the exact same thing? Yes, you did. So, yan lang po. Okay, so again, you have two methods or two solutions. It's up to you which one you want to use. Kung saan kayo mas komportable na gamitin. Okay, dokes. Uh, ang dami kong extra slides. At yun na. Actually, yun na ang katapusan ng ating lesson. So, uh, very straightforward naman po yung ating lesson for today. Ginawa lang natin, finulfill lang natin yung ating mahiwagang objectives and most essential learning competencies. Natuto tayo kung paano tayong gumawa ng equation of the circle, paano mag-identify ng center at radius, and uh, paano given a certain equation, whether in standard form or in general form, we found out how to determine the center and the radius. So, yun po ang ating ginawa. I really hope you like this video. If you do, like naman at subscribe na rin kayo para happy. Okay? If you don't, uh, tumatagap naman po ako ng constructive criticism, iwanan nyo lang po yan sa comment section down below. Okay? Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat and thank you so much for watching. Bye!